Welcome to part three of our pattern projection series. This one will focus on working with patterns and cutting tips. If you missed part one and two, check the link in the description in order to get information on equipment and projector calibration. Projection patterns are a PDF document usually sold by independent pattern companies. They're meant to be projected on your mat from your computer as full-size pieces and not intended to be printed at home. The pattern should already be laid out to follow grain line orientation. When searching for projection patterns, look for keywords like projector, projection, projector files. Full size or A0 printable patterns can be projected, but you might have to consider pattern layout before cutting. Full size printable patterns are meant to be printed at a print shop and orientation is not considered, therefore not ideal for projectors. We'll post a link in the description for a list of companies that sell projection patterns. We calibrated the projector so that projected size matches the intended size of the pattern. So one inch projected is actually one inch and patterns will be accurately sized. On a pattern, there will be a scale reference. Zoom the pattern to the final zoom percentage used during calibration to test the accuracy of this scale reference. If it matches, then you did a good job. For example, a four inch scale square is actually four inches. If not, adjust the zoom percentage until it fits the pattern scale reference. If you move or shift the projection stand, the calibration should be okay. Changing the stand extension height may only affect the zoom number and focus, but recalibration may need to happen if changing the swivel mount, keystone, or rotating the spigot extension. The important thing is keeping the projection squared and the zoom number accurate. If your pattern file needs to be rotated in order to make the grain line parallel with the fabric salvage, click View, Rotate View, and then choose Rotate Clockwise or Counterclockwise. Check the layers of the document to see if you can just display your specific size. If you have dark fabric and dark pattern lines, you might be able to change the projected color of the lines. Go to Edit, Preferences, Accessibility. Check Replace Document Colors. Choose the radio button for custom color. For page background, select black. For document text, choose white. Select the checkbox for change the color of line art as well as text. Now hit OK. The document should now have a black background and all the lines and text should be white, which will be easier to see on dark fabric. To undo, just unselect replace document colors. Now that we've chosen a pattern and the scale matches, it's time to get to cutting. Make sure your fabric is pressed and lay it over your mat. Always be aware of where your mat is so that you're always cutting on top of it and not on your table surface. Lay down pattern weights to keep the fabric from shifting while cutting. Make sure none of the weights are overlapping your cutting lines or marks. Before cutting anything out, I'll use fabric chalk or marker to mark any notches or marks. Notches will only be made with marks because it's too hard to cut with a rotary cutter. When it comes to cutting out garment patterns with a rotary cutter, use one with a smaller blade like 28 millimeter. This makes it easier to cut around shapes like curves. Take your time cutting so you're as accurate as possible and not shifting the fabric or bumping the projection stand. Depending on what you're making, the pattern layout may be larger than your mat and projection area. If this is the case, you may need to cut some pattern pieces and then pan the layout to see the remaining pieces. To do this, in Adobe Acrobat, hold left click with your mouse and pan the pattern layout over so it's now being projected. Shift the uncut fabric portion on the mat and continue cutting the remaining pattern pieces. After you cut out a piece, if you need to, use fabric chalk or marker to label the piece to make assembly easier. Once all the pieces are cut, then you can get to garment assembly. While pattern projection appears to be a lot of prep work, if you keep track of your calibration information, the next time should be faster and easier. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies, is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.